So we got a 07 Yukon XL uh, carrying a 5,500 pound toy hauler. Uh, the tongue weight on it's pretty heavy. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but as you can see, it's squatting it pretty bad and raising the front. But you don't want the front raised because it takes off uh, weight from your braking and steering. So we'll see what the uh, height is here. We're at just under five inches in the back. And on the front, we are right at six. So we're going to install the sumo bump stops and see if we can raise the back and lower the front and hopefully help, help with uh, pulling this thing. So you jack up, get all the weight off your axle so you get some gap in the wheel to access the bump stop right there. And it says you wiggle and twist and pull to get the other one off. Wasn't too hard. So there's the old and the new. So I squirted a little simple green on the end, just maybe hopefully lube it up. I don't think you want to use anything like grease because it would stay too long. Just get it centered on here. Place this 4x4 four four here to finish pushing it in. Lower the jack. Looks like it's in there this time. You kind of had to angle it, angle the piece of wood so it pushed the front of the car side in first. I think it's a trick. It's about an inch, inch and a half gap between the bump stop and the plate. Oh, we'll load it back up on the trailer and see what kind of sag we have. So we got it all hooked up. Uh, sorry the generator is running. Uh, it only gained about a half inch just from the bump stops. And I made one more adjustment on the equalizer to give us about a whole inch difference. Um, I think this trailer has too much tongue weight to for the bump stops really to affect it too much, but when I'm towing my boat, I think it'll help out a lot. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it does when we ride, just going down the road.